not in compliance with the bylaw. Okay, so those signs need to be removed immediately. Okay. Also, the fact that you're offering goods and services from the street that can't be done without the permission or written permission of the City of Calgary's Director of Roads. Okay. Where is the freedom of peaceful assembly? Where is the freedom of expression? Where is the freedom of religion? Do those boys forgot that there is something called constitution of this country that is higher than the bylaw? That's our friend Arthur Pavlovsky, the street church pastor who dares to give away food to the homeless and also give them a comforting word from the Bible. He has been subject of a lawfare strategy. He has been taken to court more than 80 times by the city of Calgary. And he joins us today with shocking documents that show he has been specifically targeted by hostile politicians at City Hall. Arthur joins us again from Calgary. Nice to see you again, Pastor. Now, you sent me these documents that you received as part of the ongoing lawsuits against you and an access to information request you made. Tell me, what is the city suing you for now? I mean, it's amazing the things they trump up. You can't give food away to the homeless because you don't have a restaurant permit. You can't use a loudspeaker without some sound permit. I mean, why do they hate you so much, Arthur? I, I, actually, let me correct you, Ezra. We do have the license to give uh, uh, food away. We, we are operating like a restaurant, so we have all those permits. Despite that we have all the necessary per permits from the health department, they still say that giving free goods and services, so prayer, sandwich to a dying child on the street, your uh, a Bible, that's illegal. It's against the bylaw in the city of Calgary. So we have all those documents from the health department. So the concern is not that we are feeding people and we may have a contaminated food or we don't know what we are doing. For 11 years, we are taking care of the poor and we have all the necessary license. I, so you, you've got the food permits. You, the, you're called yes. a restaurant. You've got the health permits. And now they're that's saying right. you can't give it away to homeless people in saying, well, let's get straight to the documents. As we're going to put them on yeah. the screen and we're going to try and explain them together. Put the first one up, Hannah, and we'll take a look at it. N now, this is a document coming from Drew Farrell's office. She is an alderman of the city of Calgary, a left-wing alderman allied with Mayor Nancy. We invited her on the show today. This is from her executive assistant writing to the city saying, Alderman Farrell wants the permit pulled. You can see it's just an order. And then comes the response from the city of Calgary. Please cancel the permit effective immediately. Cause and effect. Note the date. Arthur, this is so clear to me, and it's obvious why they delayed giving it to you. And here we have it again. The permit has, in fact, been canceled due to noncompliance. Right. So you've got cause and effect. On day one, a left-wing anti-Christian alderman says, damn it. Pull Arthur's permit, and the city yeah. bureaucrats say, okay, boss, and they do it. That's right. It's like going to a Chinese restaurant. Let's say you don't like Chinese, and you're the mayor of the city of Calgary, Alderman, and say, I don't like Chinese, I want Italian restaurant, so please, my friends here in this department or that department, pull that Chinese restaurant uh, permit, and instead, I want the Italian restaurant. That's exactly, it's a corruption to its core, interfering with the democratic process, using your influence as an elected, democratically elected official to harass, intimidate, and to actually deprive the citizen of this country from uh, a due process yeah. that uh, you know, exists. You're, you're not wrong to use the restaurant analogy. The premier duplicy of Quebec withheld liquor licenses from some restaurant owner who was political. It went all the way up to the Supreme Court and Duplessis lost. He's not allowed to politicize things like that. Let's look at the next document here. This is a telltale one. Also, Hannah put it up on the screen to show our viewers. And as you can see from this one, it's a complaint that says we've corresponded numerous times about the street church. And the identity of the complaint is blacked out, but you were clever enough Arthur, to see the signature file that's at the bottom of a lot of emails, this so-called complainant against you was not some ordinary citizen. It was a yes. staff member, a bureaucrat at City Hall. So they were trumping up complaints within the bosom of City Hall, City Hall writing to City Hall to get City Hall to shut you down, and then pretending it was a grassroots complaint against you. This is, they've got some vendetta that's seriously weird. Ezra, that's unbelievable. For eight years, I'm trying to vindicate myself through the courts. We win court battle after court battle. And I was saying to the media, to the public, listen, I have been framed. Those are not legitimate complaints. Someone is doing this to shut 
my voice down or a religious uh, message down. And now I have the proof, like you have seen. I have many more documents like that that is proving that they did, fa in fact, complain to their what, You know friends. what's so crazy here, Arthur, is that this is the same city hall, Drew Farrell, Nahid Nenshi, who gave Occupy Calgary a month to eat and poop in a public yep. park and held the bylaw officers back. For seven years, you've been feeding the hungry in Calgary, and they've been shutting you down with this political vendetta. Something is seriously wrong there, and we're going to keep holding Nenshi and Drew Farrell to account because they are vicious, anti-Christian bigots, and we've got the proof. Arthur, you're coming back on the show. We've got a lot more to talk about later. But